this video is about making a super simple high output burner for a forge or foundry furnace. Shown here are the parts we need to make this burner. If you're going to run off a uh, normal map gas or propane torch tank, you'll need uh, a tank valve like I've shown here. This came from an old torch and the uh, orifice plug has been slid out the end so this will essentially just serve as a tank adapter and valve. If you're going to run your burner off a barbecue tank, well you wouldn't need this. You'll just need to get together whatever you're going to use to hook your burner up to your uh, barbecue tank hose. The burner is composed of two parts. This first piece here is a piece of three-quarter inch steel electrical conduit. It's eight and a half inches long. One inch from the end, I've drilled a hole through it. You can see the hole goes right through the middle. This hole is sized to fit the copper tubing that I have here. You could use 3 8 tubing, this is 5 16 that I'm showing here, and you could use quarter inch as well. Just drill the appropriate sized hole for your chosen tubing, about one inch in from the end on the conduit. The second part of this burner is of course the copper tubing. This piece is randomly about five inches long. I've cleaned uh, a little bit at one end, and then I've cleaned about mm, two inches or so at the other end so that uh, it can be soldered. Now the main thing about this copper tube is uh, about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters from the end. I've drilled a number 62 hole to form the gas orifice. You can use a regular drill with a collet chuck adapter and a small number drill set to drill this hole, or if you have a Dremel, there's normally uh, fine bits available for a Dremel that are smaller than a sixteenth, and uh, that's what you're looking for. A one sixteenth uh, drill bit hole would probably be a little big. You need something smaller, whether for a normal drill or for your Dremel. With the holes drilled and the parts prepared, this is how it fits together. The copper tube is simply uh, slid in through the two holes in the steel tube so that the orifice hole is facing straight down the tubing and is uh, centered in there as well. Once you've got it in position we can apply flux here and here and we'll solder the two together in the correct position. I'll do that soldering and then pick up the video. The two pieces soldered together uh, quite nicely. Of course we can't have an uh, open hole here so the next thing we've got to do is to uh, seal that up. What I'm going to do here is simply squeeze the open end flat with the pliers, much like so, and then I'm going to uh, solder across that to seal it up. So I'll do the soldering and then pick up the video again. Here, the crimped end has been soldered shut. Here's a shot of our just completed torch hooked up by a rubber hose to a propane bottle. It will run up to lower powers outside the uh, foundry furnace. To use this burner in forced air mode, I have a little 12-volt blower here that I salvaged. 
and I have a little rubber boot and plastic sleeve that let me uh, attach the blower reasonably well to the burner here. Let's uh, put this into a uh, furnace body and uh, give it a try. Here's a look at everything connected up and running. I'm running the 12 volt uh, blower here off a battery charger that has a 6 and a 12 volt setting. Right now I'm running the blower on 6 volts. getting quite hot in there. The blower is now running on 12 volts and things are a lot louder and hotter. down in the soil. Either way, we'll produce a very hot running burner for the coffee can mini foundry furnace. Here's a quick last look at these two high output burners. This one which works from uh, compressed air, and this one which I adapted to work off a surplus 12 volt uh, blower. You could, of course, use some other form of blower or even the uh, output from a shop vac as long as you've got some way of uh, adjusting the power of the blower. Here's another quick look at the blower force burner running outside the furnace. a look at the very end of the burner. I put a piece of stainless steel uh, screening in the end. This allows the burner to run at a fairly high output without being inside the furnace body. Use of the screen can allow the flame to remain stuck to the end of the burner, allowing it to burn outside of an enclosure such as a forge or furnace. And here's a last look at it idling with the screen in the end. Uh, very low propane pressure and very little air.